Robachi 2007 back at you with another one. Hello? Hey, Kendra. What you doing, buddy? I put it on my pants. <laughs> you put it on your what? Your pants? Yeah. So we're already starting off with the craziness. You have to click on a link to come into a rating room on the inside of an uh, application that the, only the host can see who's there waiting in order to get on this show. So knowing that you wanted to be on this show and that you made the decision to click the link to come up here, you're not being called by the host all of a sudden where you're surprised that you're getting ready to come on the show. When you're supposed to be coming on the show, what does this woman and many others do to get ready? They sit around uh, with no clothes on, their head nappy, and then jump up and down all of a sudden once the live starts, once they're pulled into the stream, and then act like they're surprised that they got picked when they put themselves in the queue to be picked. Y'all watch me with no clothes on all the time, child. <sighs> I've been on your show before, but you on, You tell me I was in bed. Did I, did I talk to you? Yeah, but you hung up on me because I was in my bed. Huh? What's going on? Oh, that was getting tech. Okay. All right. So she just all up in the camera, and there's a lot there. I, I didn't know what was happening for a second. Okay. So let's see. She's laying on the counter because apparently it's a chore for her to stand up and to hold all this weight up. This is what's out here for me. Okay, so this will be our first time together. Yeah. Okay, what's your name, honey? Alicia. Alicia? <laughs> Alicia? You call me fun, baby girl. I'm in Florida, Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale, how old are you? 26. 26. What do you do for a living, baby? Um, I work for myself. What do you do? I'm a comedian. You're a comedian? And that's how you pay your bills? Yes, okay. ma'am. Okay. You have any children, Alicia? <laughs> no, say she on a friend. I'm a whopper. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, I read in the comments. No, Kendra, I'm very confident, so what they saying what? don't matter to me. Yeah, you're not projecting confidence at all. You're projecting absolute crazy. So you're coming on to a program to attract a man. And you come with a baseball cap on, covering up what looks like just mashed down growth in, in, with no kind of hairstyling. Now, again, you're not picked as a surprise contestant to come on this show. You choose when to come on this show. And if you were not ready to present yourself, you need not push the button to come on here. But these women are all too comfortable with just showing up any kind of way and wondering why men don't want them. It's something wrong with men. Men don't want relationships. Men don't want to step up. Men this, men that. But men are supposed to want women who present looking like a man. 400 pounds, a mustache, and then giggling like a seven-year-old girl. There's something here that is not connecting. Um, and she goes on to talk about in this live that she comes from, I believe, the Bahamas, somewhere in the Caribbean islands. And she's coming to America for health treatment, weight loss treatment. Says she lost 200 pounds. Uh, she got physical health treatment, but she did not get mental health treatment. Let's watch a little bit more. But you can see that she is not all together here. She giggles like a little girl. A lot of weird and strange stuff. No, somebody said she owed a bad. She's a whopper. <laughs> she's, a, she's on the bed. She's a whopper. No, they said I'm owed a brat. I'm from the Bahamas, Kendra. So the, whatever they saying don't matter. I'm very confident. Okay, Kendra. Cause... Yeah, it's all that fake confidence. I'm a ten. All women are ten. Healthy at any size. I'm a beauty. It doesn't matter how big I am. I got a mustache a knotty head, I can't stand up straight, I'm breathing hard from doing nothing, and hey, I'm very confident, men should want me, just any old kind of way, I can come to men any kind of way, give men anything, and that should be acceptable, because men don't deserve anything in most modern women's eyes. Okay, we're going to skip ahead for some of her requirements and her behavior towards men. Hold on. Stop. No? That can what? Stand, like be 
um, masculine towards me because I'm very, I have a lot of mannerism. <laughs> like, I just like, you know, I like to talk rough. So I need to make sure you can deal with all of that. Okay. Okay, so she just admitted that she's toxic. So she wants a masculine man to deal with her masculinity. She's verbally abusive is what she's just admitted to. And men are supposed to accept that. And, and it gets a complete pass from Kendra. If a man came on here and said, um, yeah, a woman's got to be ready to be to handle me talking rough and crazy to her, she'd have a problem with that. She'd have something to say about that. Woman says she's going to verbally abuse a man and uh, be in, at combat with him, then that's fine. And men are supposed to want this. This is actually how she's presenting herself. This is how she is uh, is trying to sell herself for men to be attracted. You have to you have to handle me. Only animals need handling. I call the zookeeper for in, for anything that needs to be handled. I don't handle women. Animals are for handling. Women should not need to be handled. You should be uh, a, a feminine woman walking in your feminine space. But this is the kind of craziness that we're dealing with. Let's get that Kendra cam though. You can see the camera. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> she got, she's on this international broadcast in her boxer briefs. Looking like she's about to put on her pads and go out and block for Patrick Mahomes in the Super Bowl or something. I you know, what are you supposed to do with this? You, you, it's, it's rude. It's, it's rude for somebody to say something. This is crazy. This is crazy. Okay. I to make sure you had on pants. Hold on. This is how she's coming out and purposefully projecting herself. And men are supposed to want to deal with this. It is just insane. And I am a whopper, so. Yeah, you're a whopper. You're, so, you're a lot of things. But what you are is sane. Somebody needs to get this woman some help. Mentally, as well as for this diet situation. Okay, there was no particular point to that. We just needed a visual reprieve after that last, that last I fool. Okay, so here goes another average big mama on Kendra G, who deserves the world. She's going to start off with her 5011 jobs like they all have, because they're all entrepreneurs, they're all business women, and they all need eight different jobs because none of them pay anything. 37. What do you do? I do digital marketing. I do real estate investing and I'm just now learning how to like uh, DJ music. DJ music. Okay. You have any children? And before the Kendra cousins get on me, I'm looking for a man. I have this hat on because I look like Slim Shady because I, uh, I had orange hair and I'm trying to uh, bleach it to go like pastel. So you have to like, Okay, so here we go. Starting off with the excuses. Again, she pushed the button to come on here. If she was not ready to look her best, to present herself to obtain a man, and let's see the level of man she's going to ask for here. If you weren't ready to present yourself properly, why did you push the button to come here? Again, black women will present anything to black men and expect you to just take it because they don't believe black men are deserving of anything. So they just throw it themselves out there any kind of way with her biggest hanging long and her even bigger stomach sticking out looking like big mama Betty and actually came on this program with this open top to present like this on purpose. Absolutely insane. Yeah. You want a man that makes a certain amount of money or you don't care? I care. Um. So let's see fellas how much we have to pay for all of this sloppiness hanging out and bald head. Um, what's, the least, number what's, what's the least amount of money he can make? Uh, 150. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay, let's listen some more. So 150, you couldn't even do six figures. You couldn't do 100K. I'll do 100. It's, I don't How gracious of her to settle. How gracious of her to settle for a top 20% man. Because... At 37 years old, and with her elite weight and body shape and, and beauty and luscious long hair and just beautiful presentation, she is quite gracious to settle for 
a top 20% income earning. Just, just crazy. I don't, I, comfortable. So if you, you have, have to do 100, if you don't want to do 100, I was just asking, do you want if to you have a hun- If you have 100K in debt and you only make 100K, then no. If you have 25K in debt and you make 100K, then fine. You know what I mean? Like, okay. it's kind of relative. Well, if you qualify it, then that makes it all better. Let's get the full view of what your 150K purchases. I cleaned up because the, the cousins be coming on people. They be. Well, they're definitely going to talk about you in 150K requests. You what's, wrong with, what's wrong with 150? Girl, listen. I got a flat booty. I'll, it's flat. It's nice and flat. Crazy. This is how she sells herself to black men. <laughs> nice and flat. Okay. A 50K man would be settling for her. We've made our point here. These women are insane. Um, do you know? They are insane. This is all you fellas if you want it. Yo Bachi 2007. Hit me with the like. Subscribe to this video. But definitely uh, subscribe to the channel. Definitely like this video up for me. And we're going to get on out of here. Peace.